2012 15 inch MacBook Pro Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card replacement. Remove 7 Phillips head screws starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. These are the shorter screws. Now remove the 3 long Phillips head screws. Those 10 screws will release the cover. Go ahead and lift it and remove it. Disconnect the battery before we begin. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card removal. Begin by peeling back the tape on the Wi-Fi cable. Now remove the Wi-Fi cable. Disconnect it from the logic board and from the Wi-Fi card. Put it to the side. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing the Wi-Fi bracket. The one on the right is short and the one on the left is long. You can now disconnect the EyeSight cable. Trace out the EyeSight cable and disconnect the four Wi-Fi antennas. You can pry a screwdriver underneath and they should pop right out. Be gentle with these connections. Peel back the tape that's securing the Wi-Fi card. The Wi-Fi card is being held in with three Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove those screws. You can now push out the Wi-Fi card from the rear. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card installation. Insert the Wi-Fi card in as shown. Secure the three Phillips head screws. Cover the tape. There should be enough adhesive left for it to stick. Place the Wi-Fi bracket back into position. Secure it with two Phillips head screws. The one on the left is the long one. One on the right is the short screw. You can now channel in the EyeSight camera cable first, then reconnect the remaining four antenna cables, starting with the longest one first, then the next longest, then the next longest, and then the shortest one last. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable to the card first and cover it with the tape, then reconnect it to the logic board. Connect the EyeSight cable to the logic board. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Starting in the top right corner, going left. Now install the seven short Phillips head screws starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. 